Hey, this is Edward Norton. As an actor, I spend a lot of my time helping bring fictional stories to life, but there is a real world drama that's playing out that's more riveting and more profound than any movie we could ever put on the screen and will have a much more real substantive impact on all of our lives. Climate change uh, is that story. It, it started long before any of us were born and it's a story that will keep winding out for many generations to come. But we are the generation that gets to decide how that story is going to play out. There's a version of this story that ends with large-scale destruction of land and habitat, increased poverty and conflict, and mass extinction of forests, plants, coral reefs, and animals. There's another version of this story where we all come together, we transform our society into one based on clean energy, innovation, opportunity for all, and the conservation of our natural resources, our biodiversity, and our wilderness. As the United Nations Ambassador for Biodiversity, I want to talk to you about how we create that second story together because you are a major player in the story. Climate change is caused by greenhouse gas emissions that are generated by our activities, by the energy we use, the cars we drive, the food we eat and throw away, all the things that we do and the waste that we create. We've all contributed to the problem, but we can also all be a part of the solution. And it's not that difficult. Here are a few easy things that each of us can do. Calculate your personal carbon footprint or that of your family. It's actually really easy to do and there are a lot of online sites that can help you figure it out very quickly. Second, do something about your personal carbon footprint. It can be as simple as driving a little less, using mass transit a little more, turning off the AC or television in a room when you're not in it. Just Simple little things to observe and change wasteful habits that we all have. Finally, when you've done that and reduced in all the reasonable ways that you can, compensate for your carbon emissions that you can't reduce right now. Visit climateneutralnow.org to find out how. There you can support emissions reductions from a range of worthwhile projects in developing countries. Everything from wind power projects to more efficient bus transit systems, to projects that replace harmful cook stoves with healthy clean burning stoves. By helping these projects reduce the same amount of emissions that remain in your carbon footprint, you become climate neutral. So going climate neutral now really is as easy as one, two, three. One, just measure your own emissions. Two, reduce them in all the ways that you easily can. And three, offset the rest using UN certified emissions reductions at climate neutral now. Together, let's give this story a positive ending.